Shalom Israel. Greetings to all family and friends. Well, we're, they're back at it again. <clears throat> uh, I don't think these people really understand what they're doing. They think they're making Rap the News happy by coming to this channel, leaving all kinds of derogatory comments. You need to understand something. Look at the words that I'm putting up here. These are not my words. So what does that mean for you? You're mocking the word of the Most High, not the word of you. These are not, these are not mine. I'm putting these up here in order for people to understand the truth, plain and simple. Y'all are trying to make a war out of lessons that are put forth to feed the Most High's people. What do you find right about that? And I'm sure that there are some who have come to this channel and pretending to be honest and legit. The truth is, you only came here to call me names, mock the word of the Most High, and scoff. You're going to have to pay for that. I mean, you're not hurting me. You're hurting yourself. You have to answer for that. I have not put one word up here <clears throat> that the book did not say already thousands of years ago. I am not going after any particular person, but if you see a person in error, it is your responsibility as a Hebrew to correct that error. If they don't accept that correction, the Most High says they're a fool. So just walk away from it. Let it go. I changed my channel before to avoid all these distractions. And this is why. <clears throat> I'm not interested in battling with you, debating with you. All I'm interested in doing is putting this word out. That's it. I have no interest otherwise. This is all I want to do. So if you people don't like the content of this channel, that's fine. That's your choice. Then just go away. Because you're not going to stop me from doing this. What you are doing is you're getting in the most high's way. This is what you do. You're getting in his way. This is the same thing all those prophets of old went through. When Noah was preaching for 120 years that the deluge is coming, they laughed. They mocked him. And what happened to him? They all died. The Most High is not playing games here. This is not a joke. This is real. If you don't want salvation, you don't have to take it. He ain't forcing nothing on none of us. So the reason for this lesson today is, can we keep this, the, the feast days in our captivity? And the answer is yes. Yes. We can, and I got over 20 scriptures that's going to back it up. So if I misled anybody in the past thinking that we can't, I sincerely apologize. But as I usually do, if I find my error, I hurry up and correct it. So I hope you guys can... And forgive me if I did, but let's keep it moving. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. <clears throat> Speak to the children of Israel, and thou shalt say unto them, The feast 
of the Lord, which ye shall call holy assemblies. These are my feast. Leviticus 23 and verse 4. These are the feasts to the Lord, holy convocations, which ye shall call in their season. I mean, this, this is the Most High telling us in his own way that he wants us to keep these days. The Sabbath is one of the main ways he marks his people. Now, when you come to my channel or anybody else's channel, and you hurl insults and uh, derogatory comments and statements. What do you think you're doing? Do you think that I wrote this book? Well, I didn't write this book. And I'm going to keep teaching from this book. So you can call me whatever names you want. As much as you want. You will not stop this. You will not stop it. Leviticus 23, verse 37. These are the feast to the Lord, which ye shall call holy convocations, to offer burnt offerings to the Lord, whole burnt offerings and their meat offerings, and their drink offerings, that for each day own its Day. Now, there are some things that we cannot do in this land of our captivity, because if we try to do them, we'll probably go to jail for animal cruelty. You know, that's the way this system is set up. So we can't do burnt offerings, mainly for the reasons that I just mentioned. Also, you have to have three things to make this happen. An ephah, a tabernacle, and a priest. Now, I'm sure you all know, we don't have either one of those three things. We don't have an ephah, we don't have a tabernacle, and we certainly don't have priest. The Mosai said, I believe it was in Zephaniah, that he will choose the priest in that day. What day is he talking about? The day that's coming when we will be delivered to the holy mountain, Mount Zion. Then, and only then, will he choose a priest. As it stands right now, if you're calling yourself a priest, you need to back up. You need to back up. Leviticus 23, <clears throat> verse 44. And Moses recounted the feast of the Lord to the children of Israel. Numbers 15 and 3. And thou wilt offer whole burnt offerings to the Lord, a whole burnt offering or a meat offering to perform a vow or a free will offering or to offer in your feast a sacrifice of sweet savor to the Lord, whether of the herd of, or the flock. Now, if you notice up here, <clears throat> it mentions free will offering. Why would he mention free will offering? Well, I'll tell you why. First of all, the free will offering is the offering that consists of benevolence. You can offer whatever you have. That includes money. But you see, it did not call it a tithing. It is a free will offering. Pure and simple. Numbers 29 verse 39. These sacrifices shall you offer to the Lord in your feast besides your vows and ye shall offer your free will offering and your whole burnt offerings and your meat offerings and your drink offerings and your peace offerings it did not mention money <coughs> but these are examples 
of Israel keeping the feast days. Now, when they were keeping them, they were in their own land, even though they violated the Sabbath and a lot of other the feast days. If they had made the right choice, they were in the right place to do these things. We're not. We're not in the right place. But as far as some of the feast days, yes, we can keep them, especially the Sabbath. First Chronicles 23, verse 31. And to be over all the whole burnt offerings that were offered up to the Lord on the Sabbath. On the what? On the Sabbath. And at the new moons. Let me read that one more time. And to be over all the whole burnt offerings that were offered up to the Lord on the Sabbath. And at the new moons. And at the feast by number according to the order given to them continually before the Lord continually okay so it's telling you <clears throat> it doesn't matter where you are this is what he is looking for this is what is required from us second chronicles chapter 2 verse 4 Behold, I also, his son, am building a house to the name of the Lord my God, to concentrate, consecrate it to him, to burn incense before him, and to offer shewbread continually, and to offer up whole burnt offerings continually, morning and evening, and on the Sabbaths, and at the new moons, I want y'all to pay attention how many times the new moon is going to be mentioned. It's actually mentioned a lot more times than I'm going to show in this lesson. But I wanted to make sure that you you saw the importance of the new moon. Now, I've done videos in the past on the new moon, and I'm going to go back to it. But the new moon is the key to everything. It starts the whole ball to roll. Without that, you got nothing. The new moon is your calendar. It is your calendar, the creation calendar, your guide, your point of reference. And at the feast of the Lord our God, this is a perpetual statute for Israel. Do you know what perpetual means? This is for those scoffers that are going to come and thumbs down the lesson okay if you want to thumbs down you go for it but you remember who you thumbing down you think it's me but you need to wake up you're thumbing down the word of the most high i'm not teaching my thoughts or my opinions i'm bringing this word this is a perpetual statue for israel not temporary. Second Chronicles chapter 8 verse 13. According to the daily rate to offer up sacrifices according to the commandments of Moses and the on the Sabbath and at the new moons and at the new moons and at the feast three times in the year. At the feast of unleavened bread, and at the feast of weeks, and at the feast of tabernacles. Thumb it down. It t you have to be a complete idiot to thumb down or make vulgar comments about this word. This, this is his word. So that shows who you are. You'd have to be extremely evil. To do such a thing. Now I could understand. If I was telling you. All this made up crap. And my thoughts and my opinions. But this is the most high's word. This ain't you word. 2 Chronicles 31 and 3. 
and the king's proportion out of his substance was appointed for the whole burnt offerings, the morning and the evening one, and the whole burnt offerings for the Sabbath and for the new moons and for the feasts that were ordered in the law of the Lord. Thumb it down. You got free will. Ezra, chapter 3, verse 5. And after this, the perpetual whole burnt offering, an offering for the season of new moon, and for all the hallowed feast to the Lord. And for everyone that offered a free will offering to the Lord. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 33. The showbread and the continual meat offering. And for the continual whole burnt offering. Of the Sabbath. Of the new moon. For the feast and for the holy things, and the sin offerings to make atonement for who? For Israel. And for the works of the house of our God. Psalms 35, verse 16. They tempted me. They sneered at me most contemptuously. They gnashed their teeth upon me. You understand what this is saying, scoffers? Just what y'all are doing. Y'all are tempting the Most High. You're coming to this channel. You're scoffing at the word. And you don't have enough sense to know that's a very dangerous thing you're doing there. You're playing with your soul. Not mine. I'm going to make sure mine gets up out of here. Like I said before. You will not stop this. I don't care what you call me. And I don't care what you say about me. I know I'm doing the right thing. You, on the other hand, are a scoffer and a mocker. Look up what it says. Look up what the Most High says he will do to the scoffers and the mockers. They tempted me. They sneered at me most contemptuously. They gnash their teeth upon me. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 14. Your fasting and rest from work. Do you listen carefully, scoffer? Because this is talking about you. Your fasting and rest from work. Your new moons also. And your feast. My soul hates. You know why he said that? Because you call yourself a child of the Most High, but then you go to a channel where it's being taught the truth, and you 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 like a double-sided sword. You talk good out of one part of your mouth, but you do just the opposite on the other side. This is you. Your fasting, he don't care about. And you rest from your work, he don't care about. Your new moons also, he don't care about. And your feast, his soul hates. The next time y'all get ready to scoff at the Most High's words, you better think twice. Ye have become loathsome to me. You're not worth nothing to him. I will no more pardon your sins. This is for those who leave hate comments on this channel. Again, you're not hurting me. I'm going to keep doing this. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you think. And I don't care who you are. I'm going to do my job. You can do whatever you want. But he just told you what he's going to do to you. Jeremiah 51 verse 39. In their heat, I will give them a drought. You know what that means? You will run out of water. You won't have nothing to quench your thirst in their heat i will give them a drought and make them drunk that they may be stupefied 
That's what it is when you come and you smock, you, you mock and scoff the word of the Most High. You're stupid. And sleep, an everlasting sleep, your eyes will never open. And not awake, saith the Lord. Saith who? The Lord, not Judah. This is what the Most High said. This is what Judah said. Thus saith the Lord, this is for all those who mock the word of the Most High. That's you, scoffer. Come on on my channel and thumbs down at the Most High. You'll pay for it. Ezekiel 45, verse 17. And through the prince shall be offered the whole burnt offerings, and the meat offerings, and the drink offerings, and the feast, and at the new moons, at the new what? At the new moons, and on the Sabbaths, and in all the feasts of the house of Israel, he shall offer the sin offerings, and the meat offering, and the whole burnt offerings, and the peace offerings, to make atonement for the house of Israel. Hosea 2, verse 11. And I will take away all her gladness. Scoffers, wake up, listen. And I will take away all her gladness, her feast, and her festivals at the new moon and her Sabbath. This is a promise to you, scoffers. This is what he, you know, the most high's promises are not slack. And all her solemn assemblies, he's going to destroy you. I don't have to do it. All I have to do is keep doing this. That's all I have to do. So feel free to come on this channel and thumbs down and make these vulgar comments. Feel free to do so. Because he's speaking to all those mockers and scoffers who hate his word. They are not my words. They are his words. I'm just passing them on. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 15. Behold, up on the mountains, the feet of him that brings glad tidings and publish peace. O Judah, keep thy feast, pay thy vows, for thou shall no more pass through thee to thy decay. And I'm going to do just that. Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 19. Thus saith the Lord Almighty, the fourth fast and the fifth fast and the seventh fast and the tenth fast shall be to the house of Judah for joy and gladness and for good feast. And ye shall rejoice and love ye the truth and peace. Love ye what? The truth. You people come on this channel and you scoff at his word. Because you don't love the truth. You hate me because I tell the truth. And the truth makes you uncomfortable because you're dead in the midst of your vulgar sins and your comments prove it. What kind of person will come call himself the child of the Most High and sl try to slash up a person teaching the Most High's word? What the hell is that? Malachi 2 and 3 Behold, I turn my back upon you, scoffers, and I will scatter dung, that's cow shit, upon your faces, the dung of your feast, and I will carry you away at the same time. For those who mock his word, this is his promise to you. And lastly, Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord your God, and I am not changed. So scoffers, come on, you're welcome. Come thumbs down at the Most High's word. Finish your smock and scoff. Do your best. Shalom, Israel. Much love and peace to all the true seekers. Hallelujah.